why hello and welcome everybody so today i wanted to finally give you guys the righteous fire scepter crafting guide it's a bit late into the league but thankfully we can use this knowledge to basically carry over into next league this guide is also ssf friendly if you've played for like i don't know a week or so because it requires two exalt orbs all right to get started let's talk about this so the first thing you're going to need is an item level 84 uh, scepter base the reason why is if you look on the right side of the screen um the three most important not the three most important but i guess yeah kind of like the three most important would be tier one fire damage tier one fire multi and tier one dot multi the highest item level you need is 84 to hit fire damage so 84 is to like the best you can basically get all right with that being said we're going to be Are using this recipe that i always neglect because i don't pick up gems which is 40% quality of fire gems. So if you look at incinerate, the second tag is fire. If you look at molten strike, the last tag is fire. And if you look at fire trap, the last tag is fire. So do this with a weapon that is white, specifically white. It does not work with uh, like a rare item. Furthermore, all you really care about on your base is the 40 alley damage. So the difference between this void scepter and like this opal scepter is nothing except for the alley damage for our build. So we're going to vendor the Void Scepter with Incinerate, Molten Strike, and Fire Trap. And that gives us a guaranteed plus one. Uh, and it's still item level 85. From here, I personally would proceed to Augment. Because in the end, you are going to multi-mod this. So you still want to get one desirable suffix, in my opinion. That suffix could be Dot Multi, Fire Multi, Burn Damage, Fire Damage. In my opinion, the best one would be Global Dot Multi. Because you cannot craft fire multi so a quick example of or sorry you cannot craft dot multi so if i go damage over time here you can see i can only craft specific like chaos physical cold and fire so if i augment like 24 dot multi i could technically regal mastercraft and then do like fire multi fire damage um but we'll talk about that in just a second so so from here we're gonna go ahead and augment so that's like a brick suffix that doesn't really do anything I would still personally regal it because there's a chance you can hit T1 fire damage and T1 fire damage is pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and hit Chaos Res. That would be Vendor, start over. God Slayer. So if you try doing the recipe with rares, it's not going to work. You want to make sure you scour. Do it again. Plus one. Augment, stun duration, regal, garbage. Try again. Plus one. Augment, chance to freeze, regal, mana, garbage. Start over. Red gem. Hail, gold slide. Cast speed, mana regen, garbage. Crit. Crit. No, that's still bad. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to keep going through this like crazy because I do have some outcomes that I've already personally rolled. So I want to show you what you would do to get started after this. So boom, boom, and boom, plus you. And then augment, chance to shock, regal, crit multi. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the next steps if you get a usable suffix. So over here, where is it that I put him? Over here, I had two that hit like usable outcomes so this one hit like plus one all fire skills with burn damage and this one hit plus one all fire skills with dot multi um because the dot multi one is kind of insane in my opinion before moving forward with, forward with this scepter i'm pretty sure i would first check the price of imprinting with bestiary and the reason why is right now i have one prefix and one suffix if I regal and I get a suffix, my scepter is kind of bricked because I have two suffixes. And then when I go to the bench and I mastercraft, um, it'll basically, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you an example here. So right now on this, what I realistically should do since it hit T1 burn is I should also technically imprint this, but I'm too lazy. So we're going to regal and we're going to hope we don't hit a suffix. So I regaled and I got a suffix. So in a situation like this, you would now have to gamble. So an example of gambling would be, we would go to the Menagerie. 
and you have three different things you could do here a you could annul it which i don't recommend because if you annul it you could rip your plus one fire so another version of annulling is bestiary suffix to prefix so what's going to happen now is it's going to add a prefix which is okay the only thing that would suck is if it hits spell damage or a low source of fire damage uh, otherwise the prefix is free game because when we multi-mod we need three mods we need two suffixes open and one prefix open right now we have two prefixes open so we're gonna do um add a prefix remove a random suffix if it removes the burn it's most likely bricked but at the same time if it removes the burn and gets like a really high fire roll it's still good let's just get started so the first ones are watching actually what can this build even fight stuff i don't even disappoint them. oh yeah it's fine it's fine the ritual is complete okay so this is perfect so what i just did now is it removed the suffix of uh whatever we hit life gain on kill and it gave me tier 10 lightning damage but tier 10 lightning damage is acceptable why because it doesn't interrupt us from what we're about to do so now i'm going to go to my hideout and i'm going to go to my crafting bench and again we are using this one right here and we are going to do and i have up to three crafted mods so remember we now have two prefixes and one suffix now we have two suffix and two prefix so we are going to do our fire multi we need fire damage and uh multi so i'm going to start with this one just because it has better sources of fire damage right this only rolls up to 54 this rolls up to 60. so step one fire damage oh perfect okay step two would be fire damage over time multiplier look at that beauty now of course it could be way better than this but for you know two and a half exalt maybe three exalt however much it took in total this weapon can take you throughout the whole game i was using a weapon like this for the longest time this weapon is like just straight up worse than what i'm using basically right and i use this to level 100 um if we do like a quick price check i don't know if this will actually work but let's see so this is 137 burning which is technically not correct because we have fire damage but i'm just gonna search one one and one and i don't know if these prices are accurate but still like i spent two and a half maybe three exalt i don't think the beast theory craft is really that expensive and the gems i literally just pick up myself i just have it tuned on my filter so yeah it's that's pretty much a really nice way to get started you can also do this on an explodey scepter so you could craft your own you could probably do this on an explodey wand as well anyway though that's pretty much about it hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves i'm gonna go get started with my ssf adventure so i will catch you guys all later thank you so much for watching uh don't forget if you like the video please feel free to like share and subscribe and don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox on sundays have a wonderful time, everybody.